Hello everyone, my name is Justin. I am an advertising specialist here at Better AMS, as well as your host of the Better Advertising with Better AMS podcast. If you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe to get notified whenever we put out new videos on ad strategies, new features and rollouts, and general e-commerce education. In this video specifically, I wanna cover how to optimize your PPC bids within Walmart Marketplace to achieve your target ACoS and profit goals. The best part is this bid op system is fully automated and free to use from our friends at Walmart. As I mentioned, I host your Better Advertising with Better AMS podcast. Here you can scan the QR code to find all our past episodes and subscribe to not miss any upcoming episodes. Here, starting with the Walmart bid op system, I wanted to kick it off talking about some of the weaknesses of managing bids at scale on Walmart. We'll also get into where to find the automated bid ops rules within Walmart, how to make use and set up some of those rules, and what we might expect from Walmart in the future regarding bid ops. So starting with weaknesses of managing bid ops at scale on Walmart, we'll compare to what we've seen on Amazon over the past several years. The first of which is reporting and editing windows are separate within Walmart. Whereas in Amazon, we can go in and review any campaign down to the ad group level and look at all of our targets next to performance over any date range we set and make appropriate bid adjustments based on that performance. Not quite the case on Walmart yet. We have to go download a report separate from where we actually make edits to bids, thus two separate windows, making it a little bit more tedious and difficult to you know manage these bids. Second of which, Pretty similar is no targeting tab within Walmart. We've been very spoiled on Amazon, having all of our targets across all campaigns aggregated into one window, one tab called the targeting tab on Amazon over the last year. So that's made it very easy to comb through not just one campaign's targets, but all targets across all campaigns and make mass bid ops changes. Can't quite do that on Walmart as well. Finally, no bulk op uploads allowed where we can make edits to campaigns. Whereas in Amazon, if you have numerous campaigns, numerous targets, and you wanted to make rule-based edits to all of those bids, you could download an Excel file, make one simple formula change across all bids, and re-upload that file. We have not seen a way to do that within Walmart yet. If anybody knows a workaround or a way to make this happen, please call me out and please let us know. But as of now, we have not seen a way to push bulk files to make edits to existing campaigns on Walmart thus leading us to need a bid op system to manage these bids at scale. So luckily Walmart has offered us a rule, free rule-based program to manage these bids. And so where can we find these things within Walmart Marketplace? Let's take a little field trip over to Walmart Marketplace. Here I am within the advertising console of Walmart. If you're familiar with this, you will know the icons over here on the left hand menu we will click over to the third one down called optimization tools it almost looks like a recycling logo we'll click down on rules just underneath that here you'll land on a page called automated rules exactly what we're looking for with the blue button on the upper right hand side called create new rule and that's where we'll begin creating new rules but first we can see here that i have several rules already implemented some pretty basic industry standard ones for advertisers raising bids on low ACoS targets, trying to squeeze more impressions and sales out of those targets that are performing really, really well. Lowering bids on high ACoS targets, exactly the opposite of what I just mentioned. So these targets are generating sales, but doing so at a unacceptable ACoS, very unprofitable, and we need to lower those bids down. The third of which is lowering bids with clicks, sale or spend, excuse me, and no sales. So this is to say, if we were to even generate a sale after the next click, these campaigns have already generated quite enough clicks and spend that we should begin to lower these bids because any sales that come in going forward are going to result in a high A cost. So let's get ahead of that optimization process. So these are very open to debate. Again, this is more of an art than a science. So play with these rules as you like, but this is the best place to find where to implement rules and to make automated bid ops systems. So well, let's go into doing so. We'll click create new rule and we're gonna get an acknowledgement button that pops up. Basically this is saying, these automated rules make changes to campaigns and you are responsible for them. So if you're okay with that, click agree, go forward. And the first thing we'll be prompted to do is enter a new rule name. So. Let's pretend I'm just putting in a, a more aggressive bid optimization rule to, to further improve ROAS. So let's say lower bids. And I always like to put in parentheses what the reason why is, right? Lower bids is truly the action that will be taken in this rule, but why? Well, it's because these targets have high ACoS. I can spell ACoS correctly. Um, 
and we can go forward. Action type, you can set these to purely just notifications. If you do not want these rules to take any action, to make any changes to campaigns, you can solely leave these as a notification only rule and you can be notified anytime certain actions happens. Here we can also see there's a notification only option for action type rather than increasing budgets or bids, which is how we're going to show how to use these rules. You could use this rule solely for a notification only purpose. And what's great is these eye emblems on the right hand side to these rules are great at explaining just what these things are. So the notification only says select this option if you'd like to be emailed per the selected rule frequency. So purely just for notification purposes, not making edits. But here we're making a bid rule. So we're going to say decrease bids. And here we can actually specify the parameters of the rule. So we can say by a dollar amount, by a percentage. So if you have bids all over the place from dollar bids up to $20 bids, maybe you want to leave it as a percentage to not override any hard fixed dollar amounts. Um, but if you're pretty standard with your bids across the board and you want to keep it on an absolute basis, there's a dollar option there. I like to work with percentages and we'll say we're gonna make this a really aggressive rule as I started out saying earlier. So we'll say let's reduce these bids by 50%. And the minimum bid we can set to $1. And my understanding with this minimum bid is this is the lowest bid that it will take action on. Any bids below this value, will not have the rule implemented. So if you don't want to over optimize to the point of receiving no impressions, this minimum bid is a great option for you to control that. Compare values, this is where we can really set the rule to what we're measuring. So if we want to reduce bids based on average ROAS, an average spend value, um, and again, we have the I emblem just to the right to explain exactly what this metric is. So return on your advertising spend, I think most advertisers know ROAS, but if there's any confusion as to how they're measuring these things, such as conversion rate, user conversions divided by total users, it's great to explain these to the right. So I'm gonna make bid ops rules based on ROAS, things that have already converted sales. So here we can say what the ROAS metric has to be in order to trigger this rule. So if ROAS is less than let's say two, we're gonna implement this rule and apply the rule. This is where we can say which campaigns, which ad groups, which targets we want this rule to apply to. You can exclude certain ad groups, certain campaigns, but we can also implement this to all campaigns. So here we have it noted to all ad groups, by ad group, so we should be good to go to implement this to all campaigns. You can set a date range if you'd like to set this to possibly a holiday bid ops rule, maybe raising your bids around Q4, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, um, perhaps around a certain day you're dropping prices. Um, this is a great place to set temporary rules um, based on a start date and an end date. And so here we can just select indefinitely if we want this rule to run forever until we say to stop, we'll just click indefinitely. And the compare from window will say, what date range are we comparing over or are we looking at to consider data for bid ops? So if you wanna look at the last 30 days worth of data, um, that's a good place I like to start for bid ops. I don't like to consider a sample size um, much smaller than 30 days or one month worth of data. If you want to be more aggressive and consider two months worth of data for your ops, um, you have that option as well. An occurrence will say how often this rule will run. Do you want to run this rule daily, weekly, monthly, or just one time? We could just run this rule, rule once, see how it works out and come back later and run it again if we choose to do so. I will set this to weekly, and then we can set an email in here if you want to be notified yourself to what changes were made. And again, this is coming back to where we can set to action type notification only. You can set your email down here to be notified when certain metrics are hit, such as ROAS, spend, clicks, et cetera, as I showed. Here we can click save, it will be implemented, and we can see the new rule, decrease bids by 50% when ROAS is less than two on all ad groups. We will implement that weekly looking at data from the last 30 days. And that is exactly where we can find and implement the automated rules within Walmart. So what we can expect from our friends at Walmart in the future regarding bid ops, I think we can draw back on some of those points I mentioned earlier a few slides ago, namely the bulk ops file and a single window where we can see performance and make edits to our bids in the same window. 
um, rather than having to download a report, evaluate that report and that data, and then go make edits in a separate window. I think these are some of the improvements that are likely to be coming from Walmart. If you're at Walmart, please shout us out. Let us know what we can expect going forward. We'd love to play around with new toys, new features. Um, but again, this automated bid ops rules is a great place to start. And again, it's free, fully automated and native to Walmart. No third-party tools needed. So to wrap up here, I'd like to welcome you to subscribe to Better Advertising with Better AMS podcast. Again, wherever you stream, we are found everywhere. Find content like this. We also love talking with brands, some of the largest thought leaders in the e-commerce space in terms of how they built a brand, how they marketed their brand, how they came to build an audience. Just tons of great advertising marketing material if you're in the e-commerce industry on our podcast. So be sure to go subscribe wherever you stream. That will do it for us today. Again, my name is Justin. I hope you guys had a great one. Cheers.